I'm making Russian crepes and caviar for my brunch around the world. It really stars an important traditional ingredient called kefir. Now, if you can't find kefir in the regular grocery store, go ahead and buy milk and yogurt. It'll be just as good. But I want to keep my version really traditional. That smell of kefir comes right out. It's almost like a buttermilk smell. Mm, I love it. Dissolving the baking soda is really important. I like to make sure that it melts into some hot water, and this way it gets really evenly distributed into the batter. It's really important that there be no clumps or lumps in here. So take your time and mix it well. As soon as the batter hits the pan, it's important to just give it a little swirl. This way I get a nice, even, thin crepe. A very traditional way to flip this is actually using your fingers. It's hot, but it's worth it. Look at that color on here. I'm brushing a little melted butter right over the crepe. This way, it helps them from sticking together when I stack them. What would crepes be without a little caviar? I like to fold them just like this and pile them up. Makes the perfect presentation. And the toppings are what make this. I love a dollop of sour cream or creme fraiche. Caviar. It's so delicate and beautiful, and I feel like it really stands out on these crepes. And this dish is kind of a big deal. <laughs> Some freshly cracked pepper and a little squeeze of lemon juice. And this, I will say, is a dish fit for anybody that you want to impress. Look at that. Mm. These crepes are the perfect pillow for that caviar. That whole combination is so silky in my mouth. The soft caviar and that creme fraiche just for that little bite. Mm -mm -mm. When you're making any of these dishes at home, rest assured you can leave your passport at home and enjoy the ride.